Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. Welcome back. Let's see the next word problem, which says rupees 480 is equally divided among x children. If the number of children were 20 more, then each would have got rupees 12 less. Find x. Now, to understand the solution here, I want you to first understand a very simple concept. Now, suppose, my dear students, I divide rupees 480 equally among six children. So what is happening? This amount rupees 480 is divided into six equal parts. In this case, could you answer how much will each child receive here? So very simple, the amount received by each child here can be calculated as rupees 480 divided by the number of parts. So here 480 is divided into six parts. 480 upon six answer is going to be equal to rupees 80. So each child here will receive rupees 80. Let us instill this idea better with one more similar example. Suppose I am distributing rupees 480 equally among 8 children. So this time rupees 480, this amount is divided into 8 equal parts. Now how much will each child receive? So again the amount received by each child here will be equal to rupees 480 and this time 480 will be divided by 8. So 480 upon 8 is equal to rupees 60. So this time each child is going to receive rupees 60. So after having understood this concept, let us go back to our sum. Now if you see the first line of the question, they say rupees 480 is equally divided among x children. So my dear students, here the number of parts which are formed is not known, it is unknown, it is an unknown number x. So here 480 is divided into x equal parts. So how much will each child receive? So you have to use the rule which we understood in the past two examples. Amount received by each child will be equal to rupees 480 divided by x. This is the amount which each child is going to receive. Now let us go to the presentation of our answer. So first we will say total money distributed is equal to rupees 480. This we are just copying down from the question. And number of children is also given to us. It is x. So what will be the money given to each child? Money given to each child will be rupees 480 divided by x. So this is the money given to each child. You will treat this as a single number throughout this whole sum. Now further if you see they say if 20 children were more. So now number of children is increasing. X is increasing by 20. So what will be the new number of children? It will be X. X increased by 20. So it will be X plus 20. So this is a new number of children. In this case, the amount given to each child will definitely change. What will be the amount given to each child? So this time we are distributing 480 to X plus 20 children. So the amount given to each child will be rupees 480 divided by x plus 20. Now they say each child would have got rupees 12 less. It means the original amount which was being given to each child that is decreasing by rupees 12 and we are getting the new amount which is given to each child. In other words, the new amount which is given to each child is equal to the original amount minus rupees 12. Now, new amount which is given to each child, it is nothing but 480 upon x plus 20. So this goes on LHS is equal to original amount which is given to each child is nothing but 480 upon x. So the first part on RHS becomes 480 upon x minus 12 we copy as it is and this is how the equation is formed. But now we have to simplify this equation and convert it into standard quadratic equation. For that LHS first I will copy as it is 480 upon x plus 20 is equal to on RHS I have a fraction minus 12. So what am I supposed to do? I am supposed to do LCM. So what I will get in the next step is 480 minus x gets multiplied with 12 you get 12x upon x. Now let's simplify this equation further. So we have two fractions, one on each side. How are we going to simplify further? We will do cross multiplication. So x gets multiplied with 480. So LHS becomes 480x. 
Now the denominator of LHS that is x plus 20 will get multiplied with the numerator of RHS that is 480 minus 12x. Now both these are binomial. So how to show their multiplication? So here we will have to introduce brackets. So we get is equal to x plus 20 in the first bracket multiplied by 480 minus 12x in the second bracket. So in the next step LHS 480x remains as it is. On RHS, we have to expand these two brackets. So first we will multiply x and 480. That gives us 480x as the first term. The next term will be x multiplied by minus 12x will give us minus 12x square. The next term will be 20 into 480, which is nothing but plus 9600. And the last term is going to be 20 into minus 12x will give us minus 240x. Now 480x is present on both the sides and it gets cancelled. So on LHS what is left is 0. On RHS there were 4 terms but one term has got cancelled. So the remaining 3 terms remain as it is. Now what we see here is we have got x square term but it is negative. So I will transfer all these terms to LHS. So this x square term will become positive. So in the next step on LHS minus 12x square will become plus 12x square minus 240x we had minus 240x here it will become plus 240x and plus 9600 when it will go to LHS it will become minus 9600 is equal to nothing left on RHS so RHS becomes 0. So we have formed the quadratic equation here and it is in standard form but if you observe all the coefficients are divisible by 12 so I can reduce this equation and I can divide the entire equation by 12. So on dividing by 12 there are four terms here each term will get divided by 12. Now when you divide the first term by 12 it becomes x square second term 240x upon 12 will give us 20x 9600 upon 12 will give us 800 and 0 upon 12 is 0. Finally, this quadratic equation is ready to be solved by splitting the middle term. So first let us see what is the product here. So product here is minus 800 and the middle term here is plus 20. Now what you have to do is you have to find out factors of minus 800 which will give us plus 20. Now those factors are 40 and minus 20. So in the next step x square on LHS will remain as it is plus 20x will be split as 40x minus 20x. So in place of 20x you will get 40x minus 20x minus 800 we copy as it is equal to 0. Now out of the first two terms if you observe common here is x. So when you take x common what is left inside is x plus 40. In the next two terms if you observe minus 20 is common. Now when you take minus 20 common what is left inside the bracket is x plus 40 is equal to 0. So in the next step what you get is x plus 40 into x minus 20 is equal to 0. Now x plus 40 equal to 0 or x minus 20 equal to 0. So on simplification you will get x equal to minus 40 or x is equal to 20. Now if you remember x was the number of children and number of children cannot be negative hence x cannot be equal to minus 40 hence x is equal to 20. And if x is equal to 20 it means the number of children is equal to 20 which is the final answer to this sum. I hope you understood this. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video lecture. To watch more such interesting videos, attempt tests and to get instant analysis, download the RoboBait Plus app now.